Okay, I've had this uh, Stealth 2000 for about 9, 10 months now. Done a little duck hunting with it. Um, learned a few things. So I thought I'd kind of do a, a part 2 review of the boat. And maybe this will help somebody else. A couple of things I want to point out. Most of this stuff comes from Harbor Freight. Handy. Really handy for uh, hooking, you know, none of this stuff costs money. Uh, that is a, a pee bottle. <laughs> Gotta have one of those sometimes. Screamer whistle, toilet paper. Let's see, that's probably it for there. The uh, lanyard for the paddle is a must have. So here's how mine's hooked on. Um, I've also got an extra seat in here. This was a stadium seat that I picked up at Costco for, I don't know, 20 bucks. If I stuck it on a chunk of circuit board I'd laying around, but I think it would have worked better if I'd put it on a piece of plywood. It allows me to sit lower in the boat and forward in the boat, which shifts my weight forward. Makes it much easier to paddle. Um, what is important here is to see this lanyard I got for my pop gun. That is really just a oversized key ring that goes through where my sling would be. And then from that, I have some quarter inch bungee and it's clipped back here to one of the attach points. And that keeps me from having to find my shotgun on the bottom of a river or a lake if I've made a boo-boo. And here's a cheap Harbor Freight, uh, I guess it would be closest to a 30 caliber ammo box, but it's made out of plastic, it's got a seal, keeps stuff dry. You can see I used one of those Harbor Freight carabiners to hang on to it. Those things are pretty handy. It gives me a place to put my cell phone and ammo and lunch. And I actually got a couple of those boxes. There's my spot. Keep it in here. It's strapped in too. That way my wife knows where I'm at. And uh, here's 40 decoys and some netting and stuff. I kind of give you an idea just how much space there is left inside this boat after you start loading it up. It gets full in a hurry. And let's see, here's some of the attach hardware I use. And uh, this, you, I don't know if this camera is going to focus for me, but if it does, you can see that this rivet is split. And it butterflies out when you pull it up. It gives it a better grip. Goodies from Amazon. <clears throat> I got a front rope, which uh, I pull back here. I got a Prusik loop on it. Got the knot slid about where I want it. And the idea of this thing is it gives me something to hang on to when I want to stand up in the boat or pull myself forward. Since there's no other handles around here. You can see that the... I got my pop gun in here with some quarter inch that's uh, holding it down in the front and the rear. You see this green pole on the side that came from Ace Hardware. That's just a garden pole that makes a handy, it's only six foot long, but it makes a handy pole when I'm not in super mucky bottom stuff. My anchor is a rail cleat uh, with some rope on it. And I'm pointing that out because that was free. Um, these little crummy Harbor Freight clamps come in handy for some things when you really need to grip something hard. In this case, this becomes a kind of a hard attach point for me. I can put my anchor on there, let the wind blow me sideways so that I can shoot, you know, say on my left side or just shoot on my right side or whatever. So that's pretty much it. What have I learned? Uh, the boat, you can load it full of stuff. Um, you don't want to think of this thing as ocean going vessel because you can, once I get it all the way loaded down there, I've got, you know, water coming right up to here. I don't know how much junk I end up in this boat, but quite a bit. Um, when I'm on the road, I tend to uh, 
tend to fold the seat backwards like this. I put a bungee on here and it goes down to the top of my storage compartment, which I've currently got it just hanging off here. But you know, stuff to trust me, it goes on. The idea is, is that that's how I stow my seat when I'm uh, traveling. I think I showed you a sponge. Sponge is probably the best way to mop the water out of here if you're not talking about a lot of water. If you think you're going to, I mean, if you're going to be doing some serious chop, I would carry uh, something square with a handle on it that you can bail in a hurry. I haven't swamped this boat, and I don't want to, um, but I suspect you could. I will point out something here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to pull this up because I need to repair this one. Here's an example of one of those rivets which I reefed on it too hard here and I did manage to uh, I did manage to muck it up if you can see it there so I gotta fix that uh, it's real cold out right now which is part of why some of this stuff breaks let's see more Harbor Freight clamps like I said, other than the fact that they got orange bills on them, they're pretty handy for tying stuff down. Um, as far as attach points go, that's something a fella has to get clever with if you're going to grass this thing up. What you need to do if you're really going to if you're really going to hunt and you want to try to be stealthy, this boat's the wrong color and it sits a little bit too high, so you'd have to. A fella's got to spend some time coming up with a camo scheme for it. And by the way, this netting, this is not a review of netting, but this camo netting, this stuff pretty much sucks. It's not only is it the wrong color, but it's super clingy. I mean, it just gets hung up on everything. Uh, 40 decoys in here, so it's full. The only thing I might have tossed in here more would have been my chair. Um, my Cabela's chair, which has an umbrella attachment to it, and I throw a net over the top of it and then grass the whole thing up. A lot of times, so far, I've been hunting with this, I use it to ferry my junk across a lake, and then I set up on the shore of the lake. So I haven't, I've only tried to hunt out of it once, and, uh, and there's no, the color is completely wrong, and all I did was flare birds. That was fun to watch okay so that's it you know 10 months ownership couple of ducks feel like i'm an expert now i hope this helps bye